Hey everybody, it's Joe Wendell from BJS here with a quick video to show you guys uh, if anyone plays it anymore, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. So, uh, if you've heard about custom scenery just recently and you are interested in getting some, I am sorry to tell you that there is uh, limited sites nowadays for custom scenery. But that's alright because there still is a pretty good site. So, pretty much in Google, you're just going to put RCT3 custom scenery. As you can see, I already put it in there. And uh, um, let's see what we got. There's RCT3 Go. That's pretty much the best uh, current custom scenery uh, site left. And you're going to get this page here which shows you all the different custom scenery there is. Uh, you can read them, see if any one of them look nice uh, and cool. So there's a quite a list. There's 25 pages here of different custom scenery. A lot of it is just to make your park more realistic. Uh, depending on what you want, uh, you can look through here. You have different park entrances. There's even some rides on here, which I'll show you how to insert some of these. You got your seat testers, uh, everything like that, control panels for some rides. Uh, I got a lot of these, but not all of them, obviously. Only ones that I would use. But you just go through here and download something, uh, one of these. Uh, there's an invisible path. Alright, so, oh, here's a good one. Imagineer John's always has some nice stuff. And then Buffy Stations is one of them I have. Uh, if you find Once you find one you like, you're just going to download it. Uh, it will give you a zip file, so make sure you have WinRAR Win uh, to undelete, get through that. So it's here. And it goes to your downloads, or wherever you choose to have it download. Here it is, Buffy Stations. You're gonna extract. We're gonna extract it, and here it is. And what you're gonna do is copy it, and this is where you put it in. You're gonna go to your H drive, Program Files, Atari, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Platinum, Style, Themed, and you'll drop it in here. I've already put this folder in here and you see all these folders that's all my custom scenery that's a lot in there and that's where you would place it and you would just paste it in here I'm not going to since I have already have and it will instantly be in the game you just have to look for it it'll be in one of the scenery things okay so also there are custom rides you can download and if that's the case if you download a ride you're gonna go style custom uh, I believe it's style custom after you go into custom you're gonna drop it and paste it in here and you'll have the custom ride at least I'm pretty sure that's how it goes anyways uh, let me make sure I didn't mess this up yeah I'm pretty sure that's correct. You're just going to go Rolicus Tycoon 3 style and custom, which allows you to put in new rides. Yeah, that's right. So that's just a little bit on uh, custom scenery. Custom scenery is really useful. Whoops, sorry guys. And it's really useful for uh, making your park look more realistic and what not. Uh, you can also have the ability, if you're a little bit more advanced, to create your own custom scenery. Now you can do that by downloading Google SketchUp uh, and there's a Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 add-on, whoops, sorry, and on the Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 icon uh, add-on or something to Google SketchUp, you can actually create your own uh, custom scenery. So, 
Uh, I hope you found this useful if you're just now doing custom scenery, and that's how you insert custom scenery into the game. And uh, if you want to create your own, uh, look it up on YouTube. There are plenty of videos to show you how. And uh, I hope this is useful for some of those who's new to custom scenery. And this is Joe Wendell from BJS signing off.